Let's get right to it. Here we go again. Let's once again define the roles in the data space in simplest terms. Now, this can be confusing because most companies do have morons creating job descriptions, and then there are other morons out there making their own shit up. Now, I'm not telling you what I think the job should be. I'm telling you what they are. The only entry-level role in the data space is a data analyst. Data analysts do two core things in the real world. They create dashboards and KPIs, and that's all they do. They use SQL to source the underlying data for these data visualizations. This is important. Data analysts create these dashboards for people in the business to consume. A data analyst might create a KPI for the top sales each month, as an example. The important part there was for the business to consume. All right, moving on. The next role that's almost dead but hanging on for dear life is the BI professional. BI is an acronym, and it stands for Business Intelligence. These are highly skilled data professionals who use algorithms to mine data for patterns. This is not an entry-level role. It's not the same as a data analyst. It's more like a machine learning engineer. All right, what's the difference between a BI guy and an ML guy? The answer is in the output. In BI, we provide the output or the answer to the model to the business for them to make decisions. In machine learning, we provide them with a model, and then they pass fresh data to that model, and that provides them with an immediate answer to the problem. All right, the next role is a data scientist, or what I call faker scientists. They all come from academia, and they have no real-world data skills. They're all math and theory. They're being fired and leaving the jobs in droves because they don't have the data skills to do the job in the real world. Now, I've created several videos on this. The top job in all of AI is the machine learning engineer. These are the doers. These are the highly skilled data professionals that follow a process called the machine learning pipeline on every project. They source the data, they clean the data, they build the models, and then they help deploy them or they deploy the models themselves. The next data job is the DBA. DBA stands for Database Administrator. They oversee one vendor's database. For example, Microsoft has the most used database in the real world called SQL Server. A DBA will be in charge of every aspect of administrating this database. It's a senior level job. The next job is a database developer. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of database we're talking about. If you're a developer for a relational database or a data warehouse, you are still writing SQL code all day, every day, all day long. This is a very senior level role, and it's by far the hardest job I've ever done in my career. The last job is a data engineer. These are very similar to DBAs. As a matter of fact, I don't know any data engineers who weren't DBAs first. The data engineer will often work with all data, not just structured data like the DBA. They will often create data pipelines to move data into disparate locations. It's a job that means a lot of different things to different companies. One of the last jobs often done by data engineers is ETL work. This job involves using a tool to move data throughout the company. It stands for Extract, Transform, and Load. Now, there are companies that have dedicated ETL devs, but this job is dying in favor of the data engineering role. Here are a few jobs that don't exist. There's no such thing as an AI engineer. It's a fabricated title that means nothing to most real-world companies. There's no such thing as a machine learning developer. The people creating all the real-world models are called programmers. The only ones creating real-world models from scratch are called programmers. Machine learning engineers and faker scientists don't code their own models. That's not their job. There's no such thing as a big data analyst. A data analyst has zero big data skills. That is the domain of the data engineer. The data analyst will only create the reports and the KPIs. They won't be deciding where the data lives or how it's stored. All these roles have one thing in common, you guessed it, SQL. It's why on LogicBot, I put so much emphasis and focus so much on SQL. If you don't have SQL skills, you won't be working in any of these roles. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day. We'll see you soon.